hello again. <laughs> My name is Mark Hammonds with the Q Communications Committee, and we're here at the ITM Live booth at Q 2015. And I have the pleasure of sitting with, as I change hands to welcome him to the stage, former Q board president, Mr. Scott Smith. Scott, good to be here. how are you today? Oh, I'm fantastic. What a great show. It already started uh, today with a number of good sessions. And the vendor, I spent maybe three or four hours in the vendor section. It's the fullest I've seen it in years. Yeah, it's great because it, it's expanded out. Like two years ago, we all this stuff was kind of inside there, and we had all that you know less space in there. So yeah. now it's great to see yeah. uh, the expanded opportunities. So former Q board president, you were on the board for six years and really kind of took Q to a whole new level when you were doing that, in case you didn't realize that. I, I, I'm not sure I would take credit for that. I didn't say if it was a higher <laughs> level or a lower level. I said it was a new level. We were, yeah, it was an interesting <laughs> ride. It was an interesting ride. It was great stuff, yeah. Well, and you, you've had an interesting ride, I think, with your, your uh, education career as well. You were a former teacher, and uh -huh. then you went to the administration side, or some people call it the dark side. And then now you're, you're back into the classroom. You're doing video production Love with yeah. uh, kids in Golden... Golden West High School. Golden West High School in Visalia, California. California. Uh -huh. yes. South of Fresno, your house. Yeah, okay. so t tell a little bit about that whole journey from, you know, teacher, administrator, mm. back to the teacher role. So what have been some of the some of the positive elements of this particular journey? Um, you know, for me, the journey started by watching my own children uh, interact with technology and recognizing the amazing power that that brought just to their thinking, their processing, their engagement, their mm -hmm. love for wanting to try something new, how valuable creativity was, and in essence, expanding the brain. I'm a uh, dendrite developer, I, I believe, by nature. <laughs> and so the technology became important to me, so as a classroom teacher, I was constantly looking for ways to put that in play. And Q was just um, an anchor for always giving me ideas and opening up doors and mm -hmm. creating new, new venues for that to happen. One thing led to another. I realized that uh, my, my neighbor teachers needed that. So we started a coalition. It turned into a big organization. We began to have conferences. Um, when I you're the, one of the granddaddies of the whole you know, video in the classroom type of thing from years ago, right? Slick Rock Student Film Festival yeah. Festival came out of that. Uh, my district you know, grabbed me and said, why don't we kind of expand this district-wide so that all the schools have the, uh, the benefits of things that you're doing with your kids in your classroom. So we did. Uh, we ran a number of programs. We interfaced with uh, Fresno County Office of yep. Ed on a number of occasions in a positive way. CTAP was a big part of it. Yeah. And so I, I ran that ship as an administrator, um, walking the line of uh, you know check writer and decision maker and all of those things for probably uh, about 10, 10, 15, 16 years. Mm -hmm. And then an opportunity came to um, step back into the classroom where an opening at one of the schools that my own children went to uh, was available. And I thought, man, how great to step into that school that I know some of the teachers mm -hmm. there and to now uh, teach video production. Uh, to uh, freshmen, juniors, seniors, sophomores, it's, it, I'm having a great time. And you've been there for two or three years this now? This is my right? third year. I tell students okay. I'm a junior. Next year I'll be a senior. And, uh, and then they, you graduate? And, they, and then I'll be a super senior probably. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure when I'll graduate. I have no answer on that one. Uh, but right now I'm having an incredible ride enjoying uh, being with the kids. The thing is about teaching in the classroom and wearing uh, teacher shoes again mm -hmm. is that you're, it's live. Right when you step through that door and that bell rings, it's go, it's, it's go time. And, you know, you got 30 kids looking at you, wondering what to do, where are we at now, where are we at today. I was telling uh, Mr. Walsh that uh, even two years ago when I first started, put those shoes back on, I was a little tentative. It took a while to get the cadence again, there the sense go. of yeah. timing. And then last year and even this year, I'm such a better teacher. It's amazing how you just develop the, the skill set of um, getting clarity of the assignment clarity in terms of what the definition of good is, what your criteria for mm -hmm. success is, how do you share that with the students and that kind of instructive feedback yeah. uh, is just so important. So I'm a much better teacher now than I used to be. Yeah, and that, that doesn't sound like it was a technology thing that did that. That was just Not more of like working and, and kind of learning about yourself one, once it's, again. It's really all about the pedagogy and, and, and teaching has been always about the pedagogy. Yeah. Technology if used well is because your pedagogy is, of is course. well, because you drive that well. And I think sometimes we we don't emphasize that enough. Sometimes we assume that that's in play. Well, the bells and whistles that all these things are kind of fun to kind of look at, but if we if we lose sight of actually why we're there and what we're doing, yeah. then we're, we're missing the boat. Mark, it's still frustrating. I find that a lot of our, <clears throat> our check writing dollars, a lot of our budget are still spent to empower the teacher with more and more stuff only to make the curriculum louder. So it smart part. So there's more bells, there's more whistles. Yeah. It just becomes it, you just amplify and make it louder. You don't necessarily make it better. And really it's about surrendering those tools to the kids, putting the tools in the hands of the kids. 
boy, is that not what Chromebooks and Google Apps have done? Yeah. Have they not just literally taken it out of the teacher's hands almost and given it to the kids? Well, that's um, what we should be doing, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So day one, when I started, every kid had an email account, and that's how we do business. It's, well, it's that, all uh, electronic. And doing business like that is what they're going to be doing when they become adults and they get Absolutely. into the workforce. I mean, those are real-life tangible Absolutely. skills that we didn't have the opportunity to do even yeah. five or six years ago when you were a teacher your, in round one. Exactly. Round one, uh, we, we've seen the whole gamut of teachers. Interesting story. Uh, I, I came down with a um, with one of our with one of our, our tech guys, our, our IT staff, mm -hmm. and and some of the struggles that they're having right now is connecting the Chromebooks with the printers so that every book can print. And I, so we're still wrestling with the idea of paper and printers. And well, they, doing they our need to raise this hand, I think, <laughs> and then like put a foot in water or something like that to make all those connections it's happen. It's just right? unfortunate that we just haven't really wrapped our head around the vision that uh, it's ubiquitous and, and we don't even need to go there. Anyway. I think having people like you in the capacity of having lived both sides of the coin is really, yeah. really powerful because then we get the opportunity to have your voice be not just another teacher voice to not, not to degrade that, that, um, that amplification, but that's just sometimes what what is heard? Fair enough. Yeah, it opens doors sometimes. Maybe the door wouldn't be open. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, so that's a good I, point. I think I think the community at large is grateful for what you have done, not only as a teacher, what you're doing right now, but as uh, an administrator, as former Q board president, and all those great things. So, uh, on behalf of the Q community, we want to thank you for <laughs> everything that you have done. It's so, good stuff. Yes, appreciate it. Yeah, of course. So best success. Um, hopefully, you get some good things out of the uh, upcoming couple days here. At the yeah, Q. I've got a session on Friday that is on uh, making films to change lives. Perfect. Perfect. And about the role that films, making films, that whole enterprise does to change kids' lives, including a kid like River. There we go. Like River behind the camera here. So um, on behalf of River and Mr. Walsh and Mr. Smith here at uh, the ITM Live, my name is Mark Hammonds with the Q Communications Committee signing off for this episode. Looking for more great ideas? Check out infinitethinking.org to catch all previous episodes as well as links to everything featured in this show. And if you've got mad love for the ITM, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And remember, you are the infinite thinking machine.